Taiwanese F-16 Vipers have undertaken air patrol missions armed with live AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles. Taiwan's Liberty Times stated that the missions were launched amid apprehension of imminent Chinese military exercises which could simulate capture of the Taiwan-administered Dongsha Islands in the northern area of the South China Sea. Reports indicate that the Taiwanese Air Force launched two F-16s from the 5th Tactical Fighter Wing based at Haolian Air Force Base, both of which carried a pair of anti-ship missiles. Taiwanese F-16s carrying live harpoons is a very rare occurrence, and this was last observed in 2017 when People's Liberation Army Navy or PLAN aircraft carrier Lao Ning transited the Taiwan Strait in 2017. This suggests Taiwan is now getting into a state of war readiness. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Taiwan's American-made F-16A Vipers armed with harpoon anti-ship missile is a real deterrence against China. Let's get into details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. China views Taiwan as a breakaway province and wants to bring it to its fold in the future. Taiwan is currently a self-governed democracy. Though Taiwan has no formal diplomatic ties with the U.S., it remains an important ally. U.S. relations with Taiwan is governed by the Taiwan Relations Act. The Taiwan Relations Act neither confirms that the U.S. will intervene militarily if China invades Taiwan, nor does it relinquish it, maintaining a strategic ambiguity. As per the Act, the United States will make available to Taiwan such defensive articles and defense services in such quantity as may be necessary to enable Taiwan to maintain sufficient self-defense capabilities. The U.S. has provided many weapons and F-16s and Harpoon are some of the most critical ones. It's important to note that in January of this year, Taiwanese voters have re-elected incumbent President Tsai Ing-wen in a landslide election. This is seen as a sharp rebuke to Beijing and its attempts to intimidate and lure Taiwan into China's fold. Tsai won more than 8 million votes, the most any presidential candidate has garnered since Taiwan began holding direct elections for the position in 1996. She easily defeated her opponent, Han Kaoyu, whose Kaomintang party promotes closer ties with China. China's aggressive posturing is seen by most analysts as an arm-twisting tactic in response to Tsai winning the election, but others believe that the motive is much more sinister and China could actually initiate a military operation. The F-16 is a single-engine, supersonic, multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics, which is now Lockheed Martin, for the United States Air Force. It was primarily designed to be an air superiority day fighter, but has evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. Over 4,500 aircraft have been built since production started in 1976. U.S. Air Force no longer buys it, but it's still being built for exporting and there's still a good demand for the fighter. It has a max speed of Mach 2 and a combat radius of 340 miles or 550 kilometers. The fighter can be armed with a wide range of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship weapons. 
For air-to-air -air combat, it can carry AIM-7 Sparrow, AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-120 AMRAM, IRIS-T, Python-4, and Python-5. For air-to-ground attack, it can deploy several types of smart bombs and missiles like AGM-65 Maverick, AGM-88 Harm, and AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASSM. For the anti-ship role, it can be equipped with AGM-84 Harpoon and AGM-119 Penguin. The F-16 has seen many upgrades over the years. The latest variant has the Northrop Grumman AN-APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar. The addition of this has made the F-16 a very potent platform even against more recently developed fighters. Taiwan currently has a fleet of around 115 F-16s and is in the process of being upgraded to the F-16V standard. As per a new deal, Taiwan will acquire 66 more F-16s. These will arrive from 2024 onwards, and all orders are expected to be delivered by 2026. It's interesting to note that Taiwan has requested the U.S. government to buy Lockheed Martin F-35s, but as of now, there's no guarantee that this will be approved by Washington at any time soon. Harpoon is an over-the-horizon anti-ship missile manufactured by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. Initially developed in the 1970s, it's seen many upgrades over the years. The Harpoon Block II was developed to offer an expanded engagement envelope, enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures, and improved targeting. The Block II missile provides the Harpoon with a literal water anti-ship capability. The major system components of the Harpoon Block II missile include a booster, warhead, guidance, and command system. Air-launched Harpoon weighs in at 1,523 pounds or 691 kilograms and has a length of 12.6 feet or 3.8 meters. It has the capability to reach targets at a maximum distance of 80 miles or 130 kilometers. Though the missile has a subsonic speed of Mach 0.7, it's important to note that it's a sea-skimming missile, which makes it hard to detect and engage. The 500-pound penetration, high-explosive blast warhead provides the missile with enough firepower to cripple a large surface combatant. Taiwan is thought to possess more than 350 of these missiles. Taiwan's Foreign Minister Joseph Wu stated recently that PLAAF flights are practically a daily occurrence and PLA invasion exercises only serve to cause more concern. Wu said, What it's doing now is unceasingly preparing to use force to resolve the Taiwan problem. According to the Associated Press, Wu noted that China has become somewhat confident after it effectively absorbed Hong Kong and initiated a crackdown to suppress dissidents. If international society does not give China a sufficiently clear signal, I believe China will take it that international society will not impede it in doing other things," Wu said. This is what we're extremely worried about. The minister noted that alliance with Japan and the USA are crucial for Taiwan's survival, but that the Taiwanese people must also step up. Taiwan's Vice Defense Minister Sheng Guangcheng had earlier said, At the height of outbreak of the pandemic worldwide, if the Chinese Communists attempted to make any military adventures leading to regional conflict, they would be condemned by the world. And regardless of what would happen, we are all ready and have made the best preparation for this. Taiwanese vipers flying with live harpoons can be seen as a clear sign that the island nation is appropriately posturing to defend itself. F-16s armed with harpoon is a key component of Taiwan's ability to take on the Chinese Navy and will be critical in slowing Chinese advances through the Taiwan Strait. The Taiwan Strait is tactically important since it separates China from Taiwan, 
and China will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. This is where F-16 armed with harpoon can extract a heavy toll on the Chinese military. This is important since it will give the US time to intervene militarily if it decides so. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.